In a previous video, you were shown how to create a github.com account and create a web repository. A web repository shares your same username and has the github.io designation added to it. For example, username.github.io. This is where your website files reside for viewing on the internet. In this video, we will clone, make a copy, of this repository to your local computer and connect it to VS Code in order to easily work with our files and move them to our remote repository. To be prepared to make these connections, you will need to do two things in advance. First, in a web browser, navigate to your GitHub account and click on the link to your web repository. By so doing, the URL for your repository will be in the browser's address bar. You will need to copy it for use in a few minutes. Second, on your local computer, use the operating system to open a window to where you want your local folder to reside that will contain all of the website files. I recommend a cloud drive, such as Google Drive or Dropbox location, if available. If not, your Documents folder is probably where you want to be. You need to know the path to reach this location. For example, if I want to create my local repository at the root of my local Google Drive, the path would look something like this on Mac. Users, forward slash, whatever my username is, forward slash, Google space drive. On Windows, the path would look something like this. C colon backslash users backslash whatever my username is backslash Google Drive. With these two items at hand, you are ready to clone the GitHub repository to your local machine using VS Code. Do the following. 1. Open VS Code. 2. In the View menu, select Command Palette. 3. Type git colon space clone. As you type this, the IntelliSense options should assist you. Press Enter on your keyboard when done. 4. A blank input will appear asking for the URL of your remote GitHub repository. Switch back to the browser and copy the URL of your repository. Return to VS Code and paste it into the command palette input text box. Press Enter on your keyboard when done. 5. The palette input will switch asking for the root directory where you want the clone to be placed. Make sure this is where you want the new directory created, not inside of a folder with the same name. Input the path and press Enter on your keyboard when done. A message should appear asking if you want to change to the cloned repository on your local machine. Answer Yes. When done, VS Code will switch views, and in the top left-hand corner, you should see the local repository folder open as your new workspace, and the README file should appear in the file list. If all of this occurs, you have successfully cloned your repository to your local machine and told VS Code what the connection is between your local workspace and the remote repository so files can easily be uploaded, also known as pushed, for viewing on the internet. If this doesn't work as described, get help until it does work as described.